Hi, my name is Ryan Mooney Bullock and I'm the Executive Director of Green Umbrella, one of Community Share's many partner organizations. I'm going to bring you a recipe today around cooking okra. We're going to make roasted okra. And um, I didn't grow up eating okra, but it is a plant that I love to grow because it is so beautiful. So I'm going to show you um, what it looks like and how to harvest it and then how to cook it. So okra has a gorgeous yellow flower. Let's see if I can find one for you. There we go. You can see my whole row of okra plants here in my garden. Um, it has these beautiful hibiscus-like flowers, which is one of the reasons I love to grow it. It is just a gorgeous, tall plant in the garden. Here you can see a whole cluster of okra pods that are forming of all different sizes, from flower bud to flower to pod. And you want to pick it before it gets too big, because if it gets too big, it gets pretty tough and hard to chew. Um, so I'm going to pick this one right here, and I'm just going to clip it off and collect them. Now, I collect maybe um, 6 to 12 okra a day from my garden, and um, when I have enough of it, then I start cooking it. So you can see here the harvest that I just got from the garden. Um, I had not picked yesterday, but I had picked the day before and every other day this week. Um, so it's a pretty prolific plant. You're, if you have a lot of them, you could harvest enough at once for a meal, but otherwise you would collect them over a few days. And again, you can see the row of okra right there behind me. Once you get your okra inside, you're just going to trim off the tops and the very tips. Once you've got your okra trimmed, the tops and tails, then you're going to toss it with about two tablespoons full of olive oil, depending on how much you have. Just give it a nice little coat and a little salt, a little pepper. It's going to toss it here. Make sure it gets nice and evenly coated. And then we are going to spread it out on a sheet pan. So it's in a single layer, and we're going to roast it in the oven at 450 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. Just keep an eye on it until it's nice and brown, and uh, you'll know when to take it out because it'll smell delicious, it'll look soft, and it'll be nice and brown on the edges. All right, here they are, fresh out of the oven, nice and crispy brown. You can hear them sizzling still, and we'll just throw them in a bowl, toss them with a little pepper. And you can, of course, add any fresh herbs like thyme or parsley, um, but they're good just as they are. Enjoy your roasted okra.